one of the biggest problems about learning English is vocabulary. Even if the grammar you have isn't perfect, vocabulary is the name of the game. If you at least have the words, you can get your message across. You can be understood. This is the first of several PowerPoint presentations, such as this one, that talk about vocabulary. This is about paper. The first word is report. In American English, we use the word report to mean several different things. We use it for business. We use it for individual aspects of our lives. Sometimes we need to do things that require a report. And we use it for school, especially younger school children. So I have some pictures here of some different types of reports. Um, and we all we use the same word to talk about each of them. Technically, a report is an account given of a particular matter, especially in the form of an official document, after thorough investigation or consideration by an appointed person or body. Okay, so report just means that it's written and that it's researched. Here are some examples of how we use the word report in use. The CEO is expecting our finished report on the telecommunications industry today. So when we say this report, it means that a team of people at work have been researching. They have gotten together and written up the findings that they have. Best Buy's financial report for the first quarter shows a slight profit. If you don't know, Best Buy is an American corporation that's quite large and they sell electronics. Each quarter, all corporations are required to submit a financial report for its shareholders. Before anyone invests in a company, they should read its annual report carefully. And then finally, most kids have to write book reports in school. At least in the American education system, it's very common throughout school for children to read a book and then they do something called the book report where they answer a bunch of questions and they talk about their main characters and what they liked about it. Next, presentation. Technically, a presentation is oral. It's something that people speak. However, in the real business world, a presentation usually has a hard copy that covers or shows in writing exactly what the person speaking is going to talk about. So technically, a presentation is something that we speak. However, it often refers to a written component. A presentation is an activity in which someone shows, describes, or explains something to a group of people. It is usually oral, but there are often written copies of what was said. Here are some examples of how we might use the word presentation. I hope everyone has a copy of the PowerPoint presentation. Before Mr. Bradshaw gives his presentation, please obtain a hard copy from the table in the back. Finally, purchase order. A purchase order is something that is used in business. It's not something that is used in our personal lives but it's a document that sets out the details of a purchase from one business to a vendor. A purchase order is a commercial document and first official offer issued by a buyer to a seller indicating types, quantities, and agreed prices for products or services. Mr. Lowry, you cannot just buy something, you have to complete a purchase order first. This is a mistake that many people make when they first get a job in a big company. They don't understand that you just can't go buy something and then give the receipt and get your money back. You have to go through a process that involves a purchase order. Most businesses accept purchase orders on their websites. Microsoft and QuickBooks both have templates of purchase orders if you do not know how to make one. 
three key vocabulary words you need to know, report, presentation, and purchase order. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.